Alrighty, pitter petterers. Welcome to Double Club Diesels. I am the Dean, the Double Club Diesel guy. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you think you're going to like something like this. But anyways, so what we got going on today is a little bit of power steering work. And possibly going to drive it. I, uh, I don't mean to not include you guys in everything. But um, I have driven the truck. I have. Without you. I've driven it a couple of times without you. Um, I did make a video of the first drive with Zach. It did not go well. Uh, not because Zach was there. Um, because my shift solenoids were, were all wonky and not, not correct. I can show that footage, uh, I can show that footage at, like, the end of the video or something like that, but. I am so excited I'm freaking shaking. You don't have parking brakes, but you don't need them when you're driving. I have never driven this It was just it was a disaster it was still a lot of fun um but the next time i kind of figured out what we had going on so pretty much these are you guys know the shift cylinders that uh, i rebuilt so this is one of them and there's the other one what ended up happening is i actually had this one uh the clevis wasn't tightened in the right spot and so i found it out by a, a roundabout way of it worked out and I got it adjusted but it's still so I went for a drive once after that and it was perfect I drove it like a pro didn't have a video of it or anything which is fine I don't need a video of that but um I drove it again another time because I just was like man I can get better at driving and it that time went terrible absolutely terrible so it wasn't shifting right so then I readjusted my shifts, my shift uh, levers, and also in the meantime, my power steering went from turning like with no effort to whining and stuff. Well, I found the old filter that was in here was clogged solid just because it was old. And back in the day, they must use uh, like paper gaskets on top of the filter. I'll show you in a second that's up there. And uh, in a felt gasket all the way on the top. And what ended up happening is it got into. Yeah. Ooh. See that hole right there, the big one? It was sucking down in there. There's a screen that goes over that. This is all clean now. But pretty much what you got going on is the filter kind of goes over that and filtrates everything. And it was. It was rough, fellas and fella it's pitter patterers it was rough so we're before we drive it again we got to make sure the power steering pump isn't going to hate me forever so that's what we're doing right now but pretty much napa has these filters in stock which is pretty cool um well come on it's 
pretty much this guy. Goes on like that. And then the spring goes on to there and then you tighten it down. So, that's pretty cool that they had them and they are updated not with felt gaskets. Instead, it's rubber, so that's pretty cool. We're gonna get that back together right now. Maybe take it for another spin. I don't know, I'm excited. Just keep watching though, that's what I'm saying.
we're gonna ignore it. Brakes work really good.
reverse the damage. Let's see if anything's blown up, leaking, shot, whatever. Wow. That was, that was a ride. That was awesome. something leaking back here uh, just my rear seal a bolt came out that's not good huh. I was wondering what that sound was look at that somehow worked its way out they all have huh. guess I should have made sure that was tight beforehand Axle seals ain't leaking. Wow, that was awesome. Alrighty, fellas and pitter patters. That concludes this one. First drive, long distance. Figured out how to drive it a little bit better. Ground a lot of gears, broke some bolts. And I'll be honest, but we made it. That was absolutely awesome. That's why I mess around with these old trucks nothing like it that was so much fun don't forget to like and subscribe and catch you later